Hello students, I'm Seema and today we shall do one more topic in grammar, a very simple one, connectors. Students, the name itself makes it so clear that the function of these words is to connect or to join sentences. Now, what is the purpose of this? Connectors are words or phrases which join together the thoughts of a speaker or writer to make them flow more smoothly. You know, when the thoughts are put together, they are probably, they look disconnected if these connectors are not there. Okay, let's prove it with this example. Atomic energy is less polluting than thermal energy. Full stop. It poses a threat to life and environment in case of natural disasters. Countries may decide to rely on atomic energy in the future. Presently, we cannot shut down the nuclear power plants. We have not yet developed a viable alternative. Now, if you look at these sentences, this whole paragraph, students, it all looks totally disconnected. There is no flow to the thoughts. There's no link between two thoughts. The same thing will sound different and clearer the moment we add connectors. Let's see how that is going to happen. Though atomic energy is less polluting than thermal energy, it poses a threat to life and environment in case of natural disasters. Here, hence, countries may decide to rely less on atomic energy in the future. However, presently, we cannot shut down nuclear power plants because we have not yet developed a viable alternative. The same thing students but after adding connectors it makes more sense and it becomes clearer. So let's move on to learn these connectors. The different types of connectors. The first one adding information, they add information, presenting a different idea, contrast ideas, concession, then we have expressing a similar idea and then time connectors and purpose connectors. So these are the different types of connectors. Students, there are many connectors. So we will categorize them according to these different categories. Let's take each one, look at the different examples and also see how we use them in sentences. Adding information. So connectors that add information, they occupy equal position in a sentence, they give additional information. Now what are the different types of these connectors? Furthermore, moreover, additionally, in addition, now let's see the examples using some of these connectors. Rohini is a good singer. In addition, she is a good dancer. So here we have some extra information about Rohini, whom we have already said is a good singer. Now in addition, we are saying that she is a good dancer. So the phrase in addition adds on to it. Let's take this. Deforestation leads to drought. Moreover, it leads to global warming. So again, we are adding information in the next sentence which is connected to the previous one and the word that connects the thought is moreover. We go on to the next type, the ones that present a different idea. So connectors presenting different ideas, they actually show different contrast or unexpected ideas together. They are put together with the help of these connectors. Now, what are the different examples? But, whereas, while, however, nevertheless. Now, let's take examples in the forms of sentences. Neha is rich. However, her cousin Vivek is poor. So, it's two different ideas, rich and poor. And therefore, we use the connector, however. Next one, Jatin wasn't tired, nevertheless he took a nap. So he did not have to take a nap, he didn't need a nap but yet he took it. Therefore here again two opposite ideas, he wasn't tired, he took a nap. So here we actually make it clear by using the word nevertheless. Of course we can use different words from here. We can say but he took a nap. 
Now, let's take another one. We live in the same building. However, we hardly ever see each other. Again, students, you can see it's quite unexpected. If you're living in the same building, you should be meeting each other more often. But here it is said that we live in the same building. However, we hardly see each other. So again, contrast ideas presented with this connector, however. Next one, concession. What do we mean by concession? When there is an element of surprise. Presenting ideas that express surprise. And the types of these connectors are though, although, even though, and let's go on to the examples. Although I stammer a little, I deliver a very good speech. Quite surprising. A person who stammers, we may not think he can deliver a good speech, but he says he does. So, we use this connector although. Next one, even though I look like a simpleton, I can't be fooled. Students, you all know that a simpleton is a person who's very naive, who's very innocent. You can easily fool him. He's vulnerable. But here the sentence says, even though I look like a simpleton, I can't be fooled. So it's quite surprising and therefore we use even though. The next type of connectors are those which express or present ideas which are similar. So, these thoughts which are similar in nature are connected by these connectors which are similarly and in the same way. Let's go on to examples. In most cities, there are serious traffic jams in the morning rush hour. Similarly, there is heavy traffic in the late afternoon. So, we are talking about traffic. And therefore, these are similar ideas and therefore they are connected with the word similarly. Next one, cars must stop at a red traffic light. In the same way, pedestrians must only cross when the light is red. Again, this phrase in the same way connects two similar ideas. The next type of connector students would be those which talk about time. Time connectors present ideas related to time. And the examples are when, the most commonly used. We have after, we also have as, while, which shows two actions taking place at the same time. And then this is the one. So here, let's take examples. We'll take connected sentences and see how we'll fit a suitable connector there. It was late at night. Ashok had been sleeping for several hours. Dash, he was woken by a furious knocking at the door. So the one that would be suitable here is when he was woken by a furious knocking at the door. Dash checking his watch and putting on his dressing gown, he staggered sleepily towards the door. So here you can't say when checking his watch. So you will say after checking his watch and putting on his dressing gown, he staggered sleepily towards the door. And then the last part, he looked through the keyhole, he saw a very strange sight. Now here it means at the same time he was doing both the actions or rather after looking through the keyhole, he saw something strange. So you will write as he looked through the keyhole, he saw a very strange sight. It was the big bearded watchman of the flats shivering in a woman's dressing gown. So this is how we use connectors related to time. And the next type would be purpose connectors. Purpose, reason. There is always a reason behind some action and that is shown with connectors which we call as purpose connectors. They present ideas related to purpose or reason. And the examples are so dot dot that. That means you use so in one part of the sentence and that in the other part of the sentence. And then we have so that, that's together. Then we also have to, that is a T-double-O and then Two plus verb, which means the infinitive. And we can also use not enough dot dot dot. That means you'll fill something there. And then an infinitive. So let's take some examples. She is so weak that she cannot walk. Now you can see the use of so and the use of that. Can you see the reason here? 
She can't walk is the action. The reason being, she is weak. And this is the way we make the sentence. The next one, we have laws so that we may not become savages. Here again, we have so that, which shows purpose, but it comes together. The so that comes together here. Next one, she is too weak to walk. The same sentence that we had in the beginning, she is so weak that she cannot walk, can also be written as she is too weak to walk. So we have used a to and we have used an infinitive. And then let's take one more. She is not strong enough to walk. So which structure are we using? The not enough plus to plus verb. So she is not strong enough to walk. This is how we use purpose connectors. So now we go on to an exercise where we are going to fill in the blanks with a suitable connector. And remember students, what were the different types of connectors? Similar ideas, presenting different ideas or opposite ideas, contrast ideas. And then we also had something showing concession. We had time connectors, purpose connectors. Now let's see how we shall use a suitable connector in this exercise. Class A agreed that maths was their favorite subject. Then you have a fill in the blank there. Class B liked history best. What does it look like? Yes, it is presenting a different idea. Meaning one class likes some other subject, the other one likes a different subject. So it's a different ideas and therefore the connector that you will use will be one among them. That is but whereas, while, however, nevertheless. So we will say class A agreed that maths was their favorite subject. However, class B liked history best. So this is how we're going to use a connector. Let's take one more sentence. She is extremely rich. She is not snobbish. Now, if you look at this rich and snobbish, again, two different ideas. Normally, we think that very rich people are very snobbish. So here again, we have different idea. So the one that would suit here would be but. You could also say however. You could also say that yet she is not snobbish. You can use that one as well. Next one. Dash, I'm quite short. I can play basketball very well. Now, quite surprising here. So it's an element of surprise and therefore the connector would be the ones that show concession or surprise though, although, even though. So you can write here, although I'm quite short, I can play basketball very well. You can say though or even, even though. You can use any of the three. Next one. Cars must stop at a red traffic light dash pedestrians must only cross when the light is red. Now again this is expressing similar idea. We just did this and we said that it could be similarly or in the same way. So we will say similarly pedestrians must only cross when the light is red. You can also say in the same way pedestrians must also cross when the light is red. So you could use either of the two. We have laws dash we may not become savages. Now again here this is an element of purpose or reason. So we shall use one of these over here and therefore we will use so that and we've already seen this in the examples given to us. The child started crying. He saw the stranger. Now it could be a purpose but then you can't say so that he saw the stranger. So here actually it is related to time and therefore we can use one of these over here and the most suitable one would be the child started crying when he saw the stranger. So students you see how simple it is to use a very suitable connector. But you must know what are the different types of connectors and what are the examples of those connectors. And then you will be able to use a suitable connector for these sentences. Thank you.